Hey everyone, Jim Phoenix here, and boy, do we have an exciting streaming demons coming your way. We've got none other than J.M. Brannick back. Back from the dead, as they bring the heat in the movie The Game. No, not that one. And yours truly, Jim Phoenix, will be doing, ooh, got duped. Because he thought, I thought that was a brand new movie, but apparently I was wrong. And this little bite-sized horror himself mick mcgee makes a special appearance with ghostbusters afterlife all this and more with some grandma's cookies and your next streaming demons hit it hey everyone jim phoenix here and by golly do we have another exciting streaming demons episode coming your way we've got court court what how the Hey, apparently, Court Court, our former guest, got detained celebrating their birthday. They are now somewhere between Tijuana and a thing that rhymes with Alaska. Somewhere there. We're not sure where, so we can't get Court Court for a thing. Well, that's okay. But it's back from their North Korean, South Korean, probably tropical vacation. We've got none other than J.M. Brannick. Say hello. I mean, I, I really wasn't there, but. That's somewhat that's exactly what someone who was there would say. Well, no. your secret is safe for us, Braddock, if that is your own name. And I looked, it's actually box human and our special co-host or co-host or perhaps our guest speaker all the way before his bedtime, Mick McGee. Say hi. Hey, everybody. It's me, Mick McGee. And I just want to say, I just, I just have the best movie to talk about. It's right here. And it's got sugar in it. And I just really want to show you grandma's cookie. Okay, that's that's kind of a weird drop down on your voice, buddy, on that grandma thing. I like grandma. I bet you do. Okay, so we've got Mick McGee, the, the star of Bite Size Horror. And I guess that podcast is coming out soon for little kids. So it should be kind of fun. So for people who are brand new to Streaming Demons, boy, do we have a, a debacle. I mean, a great episode for you. The premise is simple. We take something borrowed something new something old something blue and we review it usually three movies sometimes four if we have the fourth first and as always because i am very lazy we always let the special guest go first all right buddy take it away no oh, god I, I need subtitles i think which mic am i supposed to speak into that's not a mic man is this the mic? No, no, no. That's a mouse. Is this it over here? You have a podcast, right? Yeah, I got a podcast. It's Bite Size Horror with Nicole, and we talk about spooky books. It's so cool. Okay, so you know which one of the mic is? Yeah, I know. I like Mike. Mike who? Mike Hammer? <laughs> uh, okay, he's doing a Mike Hammer joke. Someone t- at least it was Mike Hammer and not something else that I'm pretty sure pain. I had to teach him that one, Jimbo. Uh, was yeah, sure, wait, whatever, man. So, okay, buddy. Okay, Mick, what was your movie? What movie did you watch? Can I say it? Yeah, this is when you say it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm um, sure. I watched um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. You saw Ghostbusters Afterlife. Wow, that, that's pretty cool. So which one is that now? It's the good one. It's not the bad one of all those mean ladies that go, I'm a Ghostbuster, but that Ghostbusters, they don't bust anything at all. They like bust Thor's butt for some reason. I don't even know. They look, like, why is Thor the Ghostbuster movie? I don't know. I, don't I like know. Kat, um, Kat, Kat McKinnon was pretty hot in it. Well, I agree. I love Kate McKinnon. I, love, I, I watched Kate McKinnon in almost everything, including that one spy movie she did with the person from that 70s show. And if I can get through with that, I got through <laughs> Ghostbusters as well. But I can, I can see Mick. I can see your point. Where you, you know, Mick grew up on the original Ghostbusters because he that's all pain shows that and Blues Brothers. Damn right. And, <laughs> dude, you're the one swearing now. Oh, I forgot. So, we we have this and Mick loved 
Ghostbusters. He didn't get the chance to see it in a theater, so we kind of rented it a bit. This is the rental. And he was riveted. It was so cool. It's got that person from like Ant-Man. I think it's called like Wasp or something like that. No, that's that is Ant-Man. Oh, right. It's got Ant-Man. And he's in it. It's, he's not an ant, though. He's not a big person. He's just a bus driver. Why is he driving a bus? He's Ant-Man. He's got a van. And Ant-Man is in it. And then the, that girl from Stranger Things. Like Bobby Millie Brown. Billy, Bobby, what? Does anyone know the Jim, person from Jimbo Bob? Jimbo Bob Brown? <laughs> no, the guy from Stranger Things. Uh, but I've seen this movie too. That's a guy. <laughs> That's a guy. It's a girl. Silly boy, you're just really weird, Jim. If uh, anyone's a girl from Stranger Things, she's pretty hot. I like her a lot. I, I think we should go, go jump rope together one day. Can we do that? Can we go jump roping? Uh, I don't think that's how it works, buddy. Yeah, I'm just saying, go from Stranger Things, if you want to jump up with me, meet me by age and highly 70. Okay, it's 70 West. I gotta jump up. You got legs. Let's do it, okay? I got Carlos cookies, too. it would be awesome. Actually, that's uh, a pretty good game. I mean, I should rope? try that. Yeah, or... I should try that next time. <laughs> oh. I have a jump rope. <laughs> And you got legs. <laughs> you I got, got legs. I got, I got legs. Let's make a match. This is sad. Mick's like Again. basically Payne's kid, and so it's kind of like a pain reproduce. Good luck. But Good. B, it's like this is actually pretty normal for a kid, right? Yeah, my 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 teacher said I'm the most normal person in the grade. They told me that in secret, though. So shush, don't tell nobody. Uh. What teacher was this? The teacher at the school, you know, Sister Margaret. Oh, that's right. He goes to a Catholic school. Yeah, Sister Margaret said I was the best person in the world and that she can't do anything else. And then she jumped out the window. I don't know what happened. She just jumped. I don't know why. I wasn't there. But Christ was. Okay, well, I think we kind of know what happened. I've seen the omen too, buddy. I think you're ripping off the omen. I think you're now here ripping off the omen, bud. So let's talk about Ghostbusters Afterlife. Not Sipper Sister Margaret, not that, whatever, not jump roping. Okay, so Ghostbusters Afterlife, it's my, it's a, my, it's a sad movie. Why is it sad? Because, you know, I like Ghostbusters, and that one guy died, and it's just really sad, because he dies in the movie, too, so it's even sadder. So I'm like sad because he died, and I'm sad again because he's dead in the movie, and sad because like the mom didn't like him, and sad because my mom left me. Whoa, dude! Uh, okay, we I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, I did you know, I'm like everyone's gone and sad, and that man was dead. He had no cookies. I just want some cookies. I want some cookies. I like cookies. Brian, if you want some cookies, I can get you some cookies. No, I'm good. But, but thanks. You're a lot better than pain. Uh, pain? <gasps> I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I said, okay. And he goes, I said, damn. And, and that was the last time we were allowed to Walmart, though. <laughs> they don't let us into Walmart no more. But that's okay with me. And that's, uh, they have bad cookies in Walmart. They make you white. No, I'm pretty sure people are just white. <laughs> white? What? The like cookies don't make people white. They're just white. Yeah, I well, have no idea what's going on. I don't either. Okay. Uh, um, um, so what what kind of Cthulhu's would you give this movie? I think it's ones. a movie. I think it would be Blue Cthulhu's. I gotta give them Frosting Blue 10,000 Blue Cthulhu's because it's spooky, it's scary, and it's sad. It's really sad. It makes you think, too. It makes you think. If Ant Man has to do Ghostbusters prequel, sequel, dequels, what 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 chance do we have? Yeah, yeah, that's that. I think Nietzsche also said that one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's or maybe okay. Kant. Daddy um, says mommy's one of those. No, uh, yeah, I think uh, Fox said yeah definitely Kant. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> so, I like this movie so much. I'm gonna go watch it again. Can I make cookies now? Please. 
Uh, okay, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mick McGee, we usually do a plug at the end. You to come back for the end? Yeah, I had a plug. I had a plug at the end. Plug, 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 girls. Give me some. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't even know what he says, so I can't follow that. Um, Brandon, you're up. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and and I can't even follow that. I mean, that's crazy. Um, yeah. uh, so many blue Cthulhu's. Um, <laughs> Who knew they came in colors now? They, I mean, I've always seen them as green, but, you know. With frosting. Blue with to, to, yeah. to each their own. So I watched the uh, Triple H movie um, from the late 90s. I had always seen the cover of it. Always thought, oh, this is like, you know, one of those sexy thriller noir type movies, you know, that one day as an adult, I'm going to watch the hell out of and be like, wow, that was so thrillerish and sexy. <laughs> so noirish. Um, so noirish, so thriller noirish, you know. By the way, I have to ask: uh, Did noir kind of like get along with pain? Because I've heard some mixed feedback in the noir episode. I can't believe Pan couldn't say noir for the first like I don't know entire episode. Uh, I plead the fifth. The fifth. Plead with the fifth. anything, with anything, pain, and that has been told. To me by my lawyers. Lawyers? Uh oh. Someone's lawyering <laughs> up. Okay, so okay, so you're watching H H H or we like to call an <sighs> Um Yeah, so I watched um the game. Uh so you watched Triple H? You did it. Right. Yes, it is Triple H. Right, right. The game? But the funny thing is it's weird. Like I was looking for him. For the whole movie, and he wasn't in it at all, or at least I couldn't find him. Well, he is kind of small. He's very small, and and he just kind of blends in with the background. Yes. Wait, the game. What is that one about, Brad? Is that, that, that one, the one? It's directed Wait. by David Fincher, and it stars Michael Douglas and Sean Penn. Oh, that game. So it's yeah. not the Gerard Butler one. It's not the Triple H. It's the game. Okay. Oh, yeah. that was that's a oh that was a good one. I, that, I seen that when it first came out. I did Uh-oh. not because I was quite younger. And um, again, like I was like, OK, one day I will watch this as an adult and find it sexy and interesting. And so it's about this guy who has a troubled past, but he's like super dupes rich. And his brother's like, let me treat you to this game because it's going to change your life. And he's yeah. like, eh, I guess maybe, but I'm so super rich. I don't have time for games, but I am kind of bored with my super rich life. As one does. As <laughs> apparently I wouldn't yeah. know yet. Yet. So uh, he, he signs up for it and, um, and, and the game is afoot. And from there, wait, wait, wait! I thought the game was a movie, so it's a foot. It's a foot, it a foot and a movie, a movie, and also a wrestler, <laughs> and also a wrestler who also has feet. Oh my I god! Know. You can I jump know. rope the game. He's got he's got legs and feet. So Triple H, if you hear this, I have a jump rope. <laughs> you should have. They got a jump rope. Legs you got legs and feet, yeah, uh, feet. and probably have cookies somewhere. Can I take cookies? Uh, in the freezer, ready. Okay. So I watched it. Um, it is dated by today's standards. Mm. I, it is slow moving by today's standards. I wasn't that impressed. In fact, there's a part of it to where something happens. And I looked at my screen and said, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Because, is it because of today's standards, or is it you would think you would react the same way? Uh, if I had seen it way back yeah. in the day, I think way back in the day, it would have held up a little bit more. It would have had more of an impact. But I think just from the movies that we've seen, I'm sure that this was probably not revolutionary back then, but probably a fun little 
twisty, turny thing to watch, to question, uh, you know, hmm. but we've had so many Jacob's ladders and, and whatnots that I think we as an audience probably wouldn't be as impressed. Yeah, that was 97? Yeah, 97. Uh, oof. Let me see when the net came out. Do you remember when the net came out? I don't know. With Sandra Bullock and oddly not 95. Yeah. So we had a string of movies in the mid to late 90s about basically the horrors of like the unknown horrors. There, there were slow burn psychological thriller, spy chasey type things based on like the advent of the internet. Mm-hmm. And yes. I think the game is a reflection of that, even though it, you don't, you don't necessarily have the internet with it. It was just like, but that's kind of the reaction to the, our internet age being spawned was the game. And uh, yeah, it, it's honestly, I, because he did seven just before this. And I think that that movie holds up a lot more than the game does. Um, and it's not for use of like, I mean, it was shot beautifully. I thought everybody acted very well. I mean, right. it wasn't it wasn't anybody's fault. It wasn't that I could be like, oh, this is why, you know, I don't feel such a strong connection to this movie or its story. I think it's just been at this point kind of overplayed of that twisty turny. Yeah. I think the twisty turny was what people kind of like, even Roger Ebert. I'm looking at the yeah, he, page. And it's like people, 3.5 out of four. Yeah. People gave it really loved it when it came out. Yeah. And again, like in the, the, especially mid nineties and later nineties, you know, there was like, I don't know. It was kind of seen as sexy, these thrillers, you know, like, yeah, that's, and there's sexy people in there. It's like Michael oh, Douglas yeah. and like, and also absolutely. Hackers came out in 95. Like all these, like, let's say Tackle all these movies, movies came, came out. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Hackers did not stand up as a test oh of time, gosh. by the way. No. Um, um, no, not really. No. And Angelina Jolie's haircut. We still, I mean, I'm still going to therapy for that. Yeah. Uh, I thought Matthew yeah. Lillard was a hacker. So, Jeez, go. yeah. So, you know. Yeah, we'll just uh, put that away. So the game, I'm guessing, if I remember correctly, is no CGI or like early no. CGI? No, no, no CGI. No, it's it's okay. all, it's all, but it, it's mostly like kind of actiony. You know, it's more a car chasey, more yeah. than than any kind of like boo or you know thing uh, like that. It's more psychological thriller. Psychological um, thriller, like Shutter Island, I which comes out years later, right? Yeah, you never saw yeah. Shutter Island before? No, I did a long time ago. I can't remember everything. Yeah, Shutter Island comes like 10 years after that. Yeah. Or maybe even 20. What? This is 1997? 97? Like about 10. Yeah, it's, I think about, about 10, 10 years. Yeah. Because yeah. it was still when Leonardo DiCaprio. Correct. Was still kind of banging uh, waitresses. <laughs> I, I just go by who he dates. I think Fair it was dating a, a waitress from like upstate New York at the time. Fair enough. You know, yeah. if that's how you want to carbon date him, yeah, go right well, ahead. Some carbon screen date him. So, hey, uh, Mick, speaking of CGI, Mick, did your movies use CGI? CGI? What the heck? Uh, like computer graphics, like I interface? Like what was I again? Like imaging. Imaging, thank you. Computer graphic imaging? Dude, I'm five. What the heck? Am I don't want CGI. I can do my ABCs. ABC. Oh god, okay, right. Okay, go bye, 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 Mick. Go, go drink, go eat, go whatever. Go drink. Uh, <laughs> he's it's do not, I don't know. Do not tell five year olds to drink. Do not touch that mega enough beer, man. That's mine, Mick. You get the Budweiser, okay? Come on. I mean, it's that's American practically beer. water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so, right, so I might have I held this, up her. Yeah. Um after everything said and done, um, again, beautiful score, beautiful lighting, everything. It just didn't really touch me um in the ways that I wanted to be touched. Uh so you know, I give it a two point five. 
2.5. Michael Douglas got H or uh, throat cancer for this. You give it a 2.5? I think it's throat it, cancer it, for this one. He did not get throat cancer specifically for this movie. <laughs> He's really researching. He took that real hard. He's like, I'm gonna get from there from this. That show. was okay. never a B plot story. That was never. <laughs> and still, I did not see Triple H in it, which was really sad. He could have though been the kindly old Ilsa who made sandwiches for Michael Douglas. Or, or, or you know, if I think that was actually the uh, rapper of the game was uh, oh. Kylie Oliosley. Yes, yes, oh, that was what it was. My mistake, my mistake. But do you think the rapper of the game took their name from this movie? They're like, yeah, hey, I'm a bunch of, like... Honestly, they probably all did. Triple think, H, the rapper, they all yes. say, like, damn, this movie's pretty tight. Nothing yeah. will ever beat this movie I would, in I would like. I would like to be just like Michael Douglas. <laughs> I want, without the, uh, t- the tongue caster. But, yeah, well, uh, Catherine Zeta Zones. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? She's a beautiful woman. Yes, she is. All right, so that's actually a pretty good score. And I'm, I was afraid of watching this. I remember when Noir was on, I was listening to the podcast, and I wish I was on that podcast because I had a lot to say about Kevin and Woods. Kevin and Woods is a, a cool it's movie. A great, it's a great. Yeah. yeah, she gave it a great score. Yeah, and it, in a while, maybe want to watch Kevin Woods again because I was like, yeah, there is replayability. And I forgot all about the game until you texted me. And even when you texted me, I thought, like, <laughs> the one's Jared Butler? Like, like the, that one? Like, how, like, I guess it's horror adjacent. And I didn't realize this is the game. Like, oh, I forgot all about this damn movie. Yeah. I mean, and that was like, that was a, a big, big movie back then. Like, it was a big deal. Yeah. No. Because I remember seeing, yeah, seeing the, the, the the uh you know movie posters for it i remember seeing like you know all these things where i was like oh when i grow up man this is gonna be great it was all right this is just the way to go and yeah no i probably uh, would have liked it more as a child (laughs) yeah i mean not to put this in egypt but the criteria condition our collection is actually on laserdisc it was released mm. on Laserdisc, not Blu-ray, not DVD. It was released mm. on uh, Laserdisc. That's rough. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> rough, rough to the dog. Absolutely. So I can absolutely follow this one, and I'm going to follow this with a awesome movie that I definitely did not take 15 minutes along with Brannick trying to figure out what the <laughs> fuck the title of the show was. Honestly, I'm kind of <laughs> jealous that you got to review this one. I so am I. I, I, I just happened to watching, watching Prime Video and it's like get duped. I'm like, it looked like something I wanted to watch. I clicked on it and it was something I wanted to watch. So get duped is Amazon original. I don't now, know why I thought it was Australian. Or it duped. Duped. Duked. Duked. Okay. Duked. Okay. Duked. Duked. <laughs> and it's like written and directed by Nini and Dolph. Who, uh, y- you know, I-, I won't say much about. I won't say much about the movie. What's the review? I have to say things about the movie. <laughs> but it is a award winning movie. It-, it actually has won the South by Southwest Film Festival Midnight Audience Award and awesome. the Talon Black Knights Film Festival in 2019. For some reason, I thought it was a 2022 movie. I must have blanked it out for like three three years. <laughs> and this is the first time I ever heard of it. I'm like, well, this is a great movie. And plus, I thought it was Australian for some fucked up reason. And so it's did you. So they even like make fun yeah. of me in this one. So did you. Yeah, no, it was it's not though. Yeah, one of the monikers is Boys in the Wood. And <laughs> I likened it before we started taping. I likened it to like stand by me. What did I say? A stand by me meets what now? Um, it was Stand By Me oh, meets uh, Sleepaway Camp. Yes, you thank you. Yeah, one of the 12,000 Sleepaway Camp films, apparently they're out there because I couldn't nail the one that Court Court had. Like, Court was doing Sleepaway Camp or Camp Sleepaway, and I had no idea what movie she was talking about. Because every time no, I thought no. I knew, it was like, no, not that one. I'm like, the one with the guy with the guitar? No, no, not that one. I'm like, what the fuck? movie the, the one that they have dancing in it no 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 the one they all die in the woods like, yeah so that's like what friday the 13th no 
Hi, Upsy Boy. Okay. All right. That's so a lot of them, actually, where they all die in the woods. How many? That's no. There's the, There's a lot of movies like that. No, oh, I know, and the, and the whole era was basically this one long camp tube away. And this is this is a little bit like a little bit like uh, Stand By Me meets Camp of Superway. I think that's uh, that's accurate. It is a horror comedy or comedy horror. I don't know, but it's got a pretty cool cast and. The, the students who are playing the students are all believable as students. It's not Riverdale. These are like, you can <laughs> actually see these kids be, be kids and like, oh, okay, I don't know how old they are, but and it's got a little bit of everything for everyone. It, it's, it's funny. It, it's a bit trippy. It, it's well thought. It's well writ. So hats off, Ninny and Dolph. It, it, well, well done. And the, the casting is great. It, it's fun. It, it's you know, this movie is something that if you just want to just fucking unwind a bit after a long day, this is it. It's not going to tax your brain, but it's not going to bore you. It's not going to bore it, you. It looks fun. It looks like every boy adventure movie, like Monster Squatty and yeah. Stranger Thingsy, and, you know, just kind of like, um, Basically, it's kind of them trying to survive. Yeah, it is. It's, it's an absolute survival film, and it's in English, so it's even easier for me. So I can just like fall asleep. But and it's in British. Is in it. <laughs> a British, a British, so you can sign and see it. And Eddie Izzard, and honest to God, I didn't know it's Eddie Izzard. I was looking for Eddie Izzard. I was looking for him. I was looking for him. I was looking for him. Oh, just I like, like I was looking for Triple H. Yeah, I actually did see Triple H in here. It's weird. Oh, Triple man. H plays a Duke. I, I bet Eddie Izzard was in mine. Maybe. Eddie Izzard's been in a lot of things lately. Or allegedly. I we'll uh, say, actually uh, just recently work. watched something with Eddie Izzard in it. So, really? Yeah. Mystery Men, which I love. Oh, I my love God. That's a, we need to do a deep dive of Mystery Men one day. <laughs> I, I love that movie. Okay, that movie, I, got, I that, that movie got like panned when it first so came panned. out but. and i did not understand why and i still do not understand why because it's right, a well, great movie you know started dark man around the same time and yeah. I, I think predictions had their head their ass for a while they but did who did not have their head their ass the people who made the duke or get the get, duke get, get duked duked, get duked. <laughs> I, I love it I, I would love to see more of it and damn it I am giving this. It, it, it's a bit like Euro Trip meets Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Euro Trip meets Hostel. It, I'm giving this thing. Oh, what do we do? A five go through. We go yeah. up to five. We go up to. I'm five. gonna give this a uh, four point five go through. Those. Why not? It, yeah. It's got everything but titties. <laughs> it's not oh, PG thirteen, by the way. Yeah, no, oh, it's man. Like a, I know. I know. Not I, even I, I, old man izzard titties. <laughs> Old man is it? No, not even old man is it? Sorry, old. I think old person. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a hard R, but not too hard. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, it's not hard um, enough R. Yeah, I mean, apparently R, not. If you not find old person titties, yeah, rude. I, I, nary a titty was found, and I and I looked hard and long for it. Yeah. And and that's worth point five points. Yeah, always point five. Yes, exactly. Take the stars off, man. I'm so sorry. You need to, an R movie? Might as well as R horror? Come on, let's do this. Stuff. Honestly, yeah. If it's an R horror, then you might as well show at least one. Yeah. You've one already, titty. You've already earned it. Might as well go yeah. for it. So that was my movie. And gosh, you know what? That was pretty fun. I, you know, we took some a lot of special guests, and I can't wait. We love all our special guests, and if you want to be a special guest on our show, just drop us a line at at Haunted Montreal or Haunted MTL on Twitter, and um, we'll got some stuff to say about what it means to be a Haunted MTL. It might be something else now, but Frank, welcome back from your vacation, and uh, this is a good show. I dug it. Vacation of COVID. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm glad you survived it. The beautiful beaches of COVID were lovely this time of year. Aren't you glad you're vaccinated, though? 
I I am triple vexed. I if I had, oh my god, you were in the game. I was in the game. That's what it was. Holy shit. I possibly could have been because I tried so hard to watch movies during that point of time and I was just had such a fever dream oh, of so many different movies that I've totally got them all confused and mixed I hope up. One was roller gator, just because. Uh no. Yeah. I tried yeah. to but I did mix up Get Shorty with uh Get Mr. Duped. Mom. Oh. Get so, Shorty's mom? Uh, that's that's a porno. So that's like, very good. I I kind of confuse the two of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Throw mom from the Shorty train. No, here we go. So what do you want to oh uh Mick? He's gonna say grandma's cookie is ten dollars. Yeah, he's gonna be saying grandma's cookie. Yeah, Mick, what do you want to plug, buddy? I want Grandma's no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to play bite size horror where you can see me, Mick Mickey, and Nicole, and we do a podcast just for kids and horrors for all ages. And there's there's spooky time, and people write in, and kids write in, and we take their stories. And there's new gaming, and there's grandma's cookies, and there's of course, spooky things. And a bunch of other stuff. Do I love it so much? I want to share my heart with the world. But the cookies are fine. Okay. Uh, Bite Size Horror it is a kids podcast. It's kid friendly. No swearing. No adult stuff. No shenanigans. It is with Mick McGee and Nicole from the site. It is I've listened to the entire season. I'm jealous. It's cool. It's awesome. It hits... I believe in June and it is coming your way. It's, it's, it's going to be awesome. man. the people who wrote in, there were kids writing into a podcast. They didn't even heard of before just to have their stuff read on air. That's so cute. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's wonderful. I, I think if we can get people to read, it's awesome. Especially to get to read horror. Yeah. And, uh, and again, it's bite sized horror, not butt sized horror. Yes, that's my other podcast. That's the other podcast we're going to do. And I heard that, uh, speaking of podcasts, I heard that Carnage Artois is a little on a, a little hiatus, a little hiatus, yeah. but we have some Carnage Artois coming out. And I think we need to get a Twa together so we can do maybe Mystery Men. I, will, I love Mystery Men. I will watch it any time of day. <laughs> maybe we can get a rotating Twa. Yeah, that would be. Or twa will rotate, just like the, uh, the the throw down. I think I bought a rotating twa once. Uh, I, I used Joe J O. A or, used uh, one. A used. You don't want to have a used. Sale. You do not want to have a used rotating twa. Uh, it was Trust on garage sale. It was, it was a good. It was a good. A uh, one. <laughs> to, what, it was a good a discount. One? It was a good discount. Right out of the package. Yeah. Well, speaking of package, Brannick, what do you want to hey, plug? Uh, my package. Um. <laughs> No, I'm actually going to plug Gaily Dreadful, uh, nice. the website. Yes. Um, they are going to be having their annual uh, Pride Fest coming up. So every day there's a new rotation of uh, editorials, stories, cool. etc. Um, and then uh, give them money. The, yeah. You know, you read the shit. Give them money. It's going towards great causes every time. I believe it's a trans cause this time. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, what are you right now? Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh god, you're putting it on a t-shirt. Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, I already put it out. Ah, yeah, definitely, um, definitely doing a, a, a trans cause. Please quote me. Uh, well, all right. God damn it. Anyway, uh, but they always do great work. I've been in it twice. I probably am going to be in it again if I cool. get my shit together and life in order. So. Well, that's important. Um, I wish you luck with that. Uh, I always look forward to your writings and your musings and your drawings, and that's very good. That's a good cause. So, how do you spell that website again? Gaily, Gaily G -A Dreadful. So, G A Y L Y Dreadful D R E A D F U L. Cool. dot com. dot com. Very very cool. Yep. And and that goes into my multiple plugs. I'm I'm using uh, owner powers on this one. I'm going to plug our brand new, our brand new 
horror anthology because we're having a call for submissions starting ooh, at the end of this week. So by the time you hear this podcast tomorrow, as we're actually taping this on the, on the Thursday before, by the time you guys hear this podcast, eh, you can submit in like a day or so. So I believe it or not, I, I, I've been watching the news and apparently like women's rights or something or no rights or women have it. What? Yeah, I know. Oh. It's, it, I think it's just, oh. um, I, I think it's just We're a breaking news story. Uh, it might be something like that. You know, it, it's really doesn't weird. To, it doesn't rhyme with cream tort. <laughs> cream tort. Mm. I had one of those before. I think he played for the Lakers. Cream tort. Cream yes. tort. He, he was the lesser known cream on the Lakers. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's been a rough time all over. So I thought, why not do an anthology to help women's rights? And for this time, the money goes to girls, a couple of them, girls who code as girls who code.com, the world's largest pipeline of future female engineers. I can't say enough about them. They get women into STEM early and STEM is very sorely missing women. And their mission is to close the gender gap. This is the webpage in technology and change the image of what a program looks like and does. So part of the, the money goes to girlswhocode.com and you can always just give to them directly too. You don't have to buy my anthologies. The other one is nwlc.org. That is the National Women's Legal Center.org. And if you've ever heard Roe versus Wade being overturned, boy, do they need fucking money now. They always needed money, but they really need the money fucking now. It's like almost so. as if somebody from the Supreme Court has passed away who is really, really good at focusing on women's rights or something. Yeah, it's almost like. Some motherfuckers should like retire. This is why I'm a Supreme Court justice. Is as much as I love people, as much as I love RBG, y'all need to retire. She what wasn't gonna retire until she died. The Green Ripper fucking retired her. Yeah, uh, for and, real. And that's a, that's the thing, man. She fought um, him. I bet. Oh, two for nail. That was like her 14th cancer remission. Mm-hmm. But, you know, after the second or third one, he is maybe. Maybe take the fucking signals. She's a bad bitch. And especially since Obama, Obama, Obama kind of rolls over. <laughs> the, well, I'm just depressed because he kind of Obama. rolls over and like gets his tummy rub by like, ah, oh, I could have a Supreme Court nomination or, or not. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. That was Whatever. pretty fucking bold, but it, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I, I knew once the imbalance happened in there, I'm like, oh, yep, we're fucking doomed. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Absolutely. Anyway, and as we're going, and the next one is going to be oh, abortion funds plural dot org because apparently <laughs> abortions are now going to be. I, I guess these people like what this money goes to buying coat hangers or rude. <laughs> in back in the middle ages, it was knitting needles. Knitting needles. I'll say this. This goes. It was you donate a lot to abortionfunds.org. They need knitting needles because that's the only thing that'll be legal abortion in most of the states now is through knitting accidents that will have to be repeatedly Allegedly. done. Allegedly, Allegedly, right? No, because obviously, uh, I, I'm not saying. I'm going to quote Dave Chappelle. I'm going to paraphrase right Dave Chappelle, where. I know I'm, I'm not really for or against because uh, it's like he's saying, if you have a penis, you need to shut the fuck up on this one. Like it's not my, it's not, it's not my body and it's not my life that's being affected. It is. It's a woman's life that's going to be affected. Mm-hmm. And so I, I think we all need to tip the fuck away. And just let people decide for what the fuck they you know, just decide for themselves if they want one or not. And if they well, want one, they should have access to health care that's going to provide one that's not going to lead them to doing dangerous shit. As we all not we, we don't all live through it. I'm old enough to live through it. Back alley abortions were a thing. Yeah. People dying to have a you know, not to have a kid is a thing. And and I don't want to go backwards to that. Even though the law being cited is from like what eighteen eighty? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Well, and the they're horror. talking to they're talking to not only about abortions by your choice, but if you are raped or or if incest is put yeah. upon you, if you're a survivor of that, they're talking about that is not even no. committed. No, you just gotta dump it off on, I believe, a Ferris wheel. I, I think that's legal still. Well, or a I slingshot, mean, or was it a, a, a garbage dumpster? I forgot which one Amy Baron Coyle actually said because all three choices were so fucking horrific to my brain. I couldn't believe the shit I was seeing. So I just kind of like blacked out for a while. And I came to and I just like, oh, this is actually real. Okay. Yeah. So abortionfunds.org are the other people, people getting the money and leaf.ca because guess what? Canada is not perfect and damn it. How can a reform of Canada's sex work laws center human rights and evidence? It's LEAF, which is a women's legal education and action fund in Canada, or fund the action aid education juridic uh, pour the thumbs. Sorry, my French is not that great right now, and the well, the lettering is very small. So LEAF.org and a fifth one, because damn it, I'm special. Some of the money will also go to the Emily Dickinson Museum, which was her family home, and it's being revamped. It needs love. And maybe it's just like me being very, very greedy because I like Emily Dickinson. A lot and of people do. She was a writer who couldn't write underneath her own name or even leave her fucking house. Yeah. So if anyone needs to post a child, I know she wasn't trying to be one. But that's a pretty good one to have. So with that being said, if anyone wants to, don't shoot the messenger. If anyone wants to submit to our new anthology for women's rights, it's called Only Women Bleed because of the, of course, the J.K. Rowling uh, quote that went over so well when I did Lumos Project. Fuck you all. But no, it's because of Alice Cooper and Lita Ford's song, Only Women Bleed. Um, Old school rock. That's what it is. Yeah, I get it. But as my co-host, I, like, I can't read. Is that laser beams? Is that laser beams? I'm still processing this, especially it being non-binary. Right. So. Do you take offense to, this is a great time to talk. Then. Do you take offense yeah. to the Lita Ford and Alice Cooper song? Uh, no, I don't. Like um, because I think, stuff. yeah, because I think again at the time, like, Honestly, I think it's a stylization choice, um, you know, of talking about women and womanhood um, from Alice Cooper, who's from Detroit. Um, well, I, but I, yeah. and, and that, too, back then really wasn't a, a thing, you know, that we talked about back then because it, it wasn't pushed to the forefront um, of people's rights. And uh, now it is. And so I think it would be seen differently. But I don't think, you know, going back, it it was him saying what J.K. Rowling is saying today. I I think that's correct. Now, is it saying what I'm saying today? Because I'm saying what Alice Cooper is saying. So is that still correct? If you're saying what Alice Cooper is saying, like just you're taking into women have much more struggles than a lot of cis white males um, yes. do. And that's, and that's documented. I don't think this is any kind of. I mean, it was that or dead weird. babies, but I thought dead babies <laughs> might. <laughs> I think that would be pretty funny because I'm pretty sure I can sell it to a conservative pricks. <laughs> dead babies. The, uh, the anti, anti-abortion, anti I'll put the other anti-abortion part. Like, really See, small. I think you should say pro-death <laughs> if you're going to go like death. my body, my abortion, you know, or something like that. I don't yeah. know. Um, but I think taking it with that, um, that it's just about women's struggles and women. That's not a bad word. That's not a bad thing. Femininity struggles? is something. Oh, I think so. <laughs> is absolutely something still going on. It's something that continues to be a huge problem and a huge disparity. Um, again, 
I don't like J.K. Rowling's because of her remarks of that only women do bleed. And that means that she's discounting trans men, non-binaries, things like that. And um, also discounting Ivan Drago from Rocky uh, for because he, he does bleed too. Huh? Shit's fucking meta. So uh, with that knowledge bomb right there said, come check out. If, if you want to flame me, flame me away. Fuck off. I don't need your business anyways. I'm not, not uh, saying if you want to talk, I, I, we can talk, but I mean, not personally, I'm not saying Braddock. I'm saying people who didn't want to buy Lumos for, or the I think, uh, I think children. If we just explain, because we had given some of the pro- proceeds to this charity, which is tied oh, with for how for children, all the money proceeds. Oh. It wasn't even proceeds. I ate all the operating costs. Oh, okay. I, I paid everyone out. I, I did all the fucking everything and Lumos got all the money, but people were flaming me or at least haunted Montreal through me. Uh, because of the J.K. Rowling Uh-oh. Foundation start. This is a charity by J.K. Jim? Okay. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. I see you too. Today's streaming demon goes beyond Nick Mickey's bedtime. But this is kind of like an important talk. So you guys, yeah. if you guys are not into the important talk, uh, you know, goodbye has happened 15 minutes ago. But, oh, <sighs> shit. And I think I just lost Brannick. I'm not sure how or why, but I do know this, that it is important if you like us or hate us and Brannick is back, it might just be a magic box in Detroit. Uh, yeah, that's uh, thank you, Detroit, for uh, cutting out at a really important time. Um, <laughs> I'm like, damn, Brannick really fucking hates this the title of the, of the book. That's why. Um, and to be fair, I didn't tell Brannick the title of the book for, until like right then. Yeah, and honestly, I love the song. So, like, I, it's really, be, I know it's hard, right? It's, it's, it's a different. good. I mean, he has a lot of great songs. He, it he might actually that. be Dead Babies, but I think that might be too. I think it was originally Dead Babies. I saw the the notes. Uh, and and ba- no, that's that's two songs. That's two different songs. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But I mean, I might change the, the anthology to Dead Babies, but I think that might just be too. Um, charge on the nose i think it might be too on the nose though uh, i mean you don't want to be tacky no that's why only women bleed only offends a okay, small so, population of the, so <laughs> the if, world well and i i don't think it it would i think the only thing is the offensive because jk rowling's is a trash heap turf you know kind of a thing um but i think uh, I, I, only I, women, I, I still read the books so. i mean and a lot of people do uh, she's still just a trash garbage person. Um, uh, oh yeah, and that's the thing. People are wondering why I'm like I'm not sipping in because opinions are opinions. I I let people have opinions, hundred yeah. percent. And and that's the thing is like you know don't don't give to that then you know that's fine you know and yeah, uh, let, let this orphans rot in hell. Fuck them. <laughs> well, they can give to other charities as well for kids i mean it just but these this anthology is going to go towards women towards women's rights which is sorely sorely needed (laughs) well i'm sure a lot of these services go towards all kinds of people i'm making sure that no one except for cis women white women especially no i'm just joking obviously (laughs) I need my gazelle. I'm running that on a check. Make sure it's all goes to Swiss white. Oh my it. god! <laughs> they're gonna be like, we got another conservative. <laughs> what they're, de- they're like uh, delivering to parent uh, Planned Parenthood, and the reason why I didn't do Planned Parenthood, by the way, is because I think a lot of people are just going to donate to Planned Parenthood right now. So I'm trying to get the outside the absolutely, the and they have. They have tons and tons of, I mean, they're, they're a huge organization where a lot of these are smaller groups yeah. um, that, that desperately need money, especially now more than ever, because they're going to be getting a lot of scared people coming to them with a lot of questions and a lot of needed help. 
So, yeah. especially the Emily Dickinson Museum, because there's no Absolutely. bathrooms for like miles I in that place. I am terrified. I have so many questions about my life, and there's only one place I can go, which is the Emily Dickinson Museum. Yeah. And I do believe <laughs> that actually it might be a dot org. It is Emily Dickinson Museum dot org. And if you get a chance, check her out on Apple. Apple's got a pretty cool Emily Dickinson series. That- <laughs> Emily Dickinson, she's still rocking it. She's she is rocking it. And later job. on, she's got she she shoots an arrow, bow and arrow, pretty well too. Oh man, she and she oh, looks so good for her age. She really yeah. does. She looks so good for age of dead, of super oh, dead, really super, super dead. I like I, I like that movie, Super Dead. I, the original <laughs> Super Bad was a little better, but Super Dead was pretty good too. So okay, we're going on and on. So thank you for joining us next week. We're, we're promising fewer political things, and there will be. <laughs> we can't, a, we can't week. promise that. We can't yeah. promise that. But until then, until then, um, they have myself, Jim Phoenix, my special co-host forever and ever, uh, because they always burn out other people's clothes, not me, <laughs> Jay and Braddock, That's and true. our special guest. Thanks, Payne, for letting Mick McGee stay up that late. Mick McGee, hey, bye-bye. He, he, he's he's kind of like crashing out as fast as bedtime. But bidding you all, if, if you haven't seen it, or if we haven't seen it, what was the old tagline? If you've seen a movie we haven't, well, you know, good for fucking you. There's a couple billion people on the planet. I can't even find the movie I saw yeah, on Amazon Prime you yesterday. Got, you got all kinds of bitch, bitch tits tonight, dude. I, I, that was actually the original. That was the original uh, sign off. If you've seen a movie we haven't, well, good for fucking you. That was the original Stream of Demons sign off. I just remembered <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 I still need subtitles. (laughs) I hear a cat.